last time we discussed about what is open channel flow so in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the discuss about two things basically first is the type of canals and second is type of flows so in this class we will discuss what are the different type of canals how do we classify them and then we will discuss what are the various types of flows in open channel what are the classification of flows all right so let's start with uh, type of canals canals can be classified as uh, one classification of canals is prismatic and non prismatic non prismatic all right so what is the meaning of prismatic channel and uh, non prismatic channel suppose we have a channel or canal whatever you can use so in which so you have a canal this is the cross section of canal okay it is a rectangular cross section okay and water is flowing here in this canal okay now this canal is called as a prismatic canal when the geometry and slope of this channel does not change okay so the cross section should not change so if you if you take a cross section here at 1 1 if you take cross section at 2 2 some other location the cross section should not change at 1 1 and 2 2 cross section the geometry of the channel should be same also the slope should be constant throughout the channel so this type of channels are called as the prismatic channel generally man made canals will be categorized as prismatic channel all right natural channels will be uh, considered as non prismatic why because if you take a river suppose if you take uh, if you consider a river you will have some uh, bed level of the river like this water is flowing in that river so if you take the cross sections at different locations of a natural river okay so what you will find you will find at one at one one you have this cross section at two two you have such type of cross section all right this is section one one and this is section two two okay so what is happening in a natural channel or natural river if you uh, consider then your cross sectional geometry does not remain constant along with the space it changes with space so this type of canals are called as a non prismatic canals generally natural uh, natural channels are non prismatic all right so this is non prismatic and this is prismatic okay so this is the first classification prismatic and non prismatic channels now second classification is the second classification is rigid boundary and mobile boundary canals rigid boundary and mobile boundary channels so what are rigid boundary channels and mobile boundary channels suppose you have a channel okay again you have a channel okay water is flowing in that channel okay this is the discharge okay water is flowing and you consider any cross section okay take a cross section okay this channel may be natural channel may be uh, man made artificial channel it can be anything okay just consider take a cross section and observe it over time so if you have this suppose cross section it may be a nat uh, natural cross section also natural channel also okay and you observe this cross section one one okay this is one one and if the <coughs> boundary properties of this channel that is the boundary properties that is boundary properties or boundary characteristics such as what 
ज्योमेट्री एंड रफनेस सो इफ यूअर ज्योमेट्री एज वेल एज रफनेस ऑफ दिस क्रॉस सेक्शन इज नॉट चेंजिंग ओवर टाइम सो इट इज कॉन्स्टेंट विथ टाइम देन सच चैनल्स आर कॉल्ड एज रिजिड बाउंड्री चैनल्स rigid boundary channels okay because your geometry and roughness is constant they are not changing with time or flow properties all right it is not happening that discharge is changing so your roughness is uh, so your roughness is changing or geometry is changing all right so this type of canals are rigid boundary canals but what are mobile boundary canals so if you have again a natural channel okay suppose you have a natural channel only or man made any ways okay any ways any channel it can be any uh, channel can be a rigid boundary channel it uh, like a man made channel can be also a rigid boundary channel and a natural channel can also be a rigid boundary channel provided its geometry and roughness of the cross section does not change with time all right so suppose you have another channel in which you observe a cross section a particular cross section you take okay and you observe it over time so over time what you find that okay at some point of time this was the cross section okay this was your cross section this is flow depth if you cut it and look from the front if this is the cross section okay at 1 1 so at time t1 you have this cross section okay now after 2 3 years of river flow you observe it you know uh, river carry a lot of sediments and what happens in rivers we know that the boundary of the river can undergo changes in the geometry why because at some locations what happens the sediments get eroded from the channel bottom because of the flow conditions okay and uh, at some places you get uh, some sediments get deposited okay that is called as deposition so here if you have low velocity zone so after some point of time you will have some deposition here maybe some erosion here and after some time let's say at t2 this is at t1 and at t2 you have this type of cross section suppose okay so what has happened some deposition has taken place here okay and some erosion has taken place on the left hand side left bank and some deposition has taken place on the right bank so at time t2 the geometry is changing okay the roughness and geometry these things are changing so this is called as a mobile boundary channel okay mobile boundary a natural channel can be uh, a natural channel can be a rigid boundary also mobile boundary also okay it just depends upon its behavior okay sometimes unlined canals in alluvium all right sometimes we have unlined canals also but uh, in alluvium they undergo change in their geometry but if you have a good rock and they are excavated in good rock then they do not undergo change in their cross section then they become a rigid boundary channel all right so this is again one classification rigid boundary and mobile boundary channels so this was about the classification of uh, channels now we'll look at the classification of flows so first classify so this is done now we'll uh, discuss about the type of flows or classification of flows so first classification is first classification is steady and unsteady flow okay what do you mean by steady and unsteady flow okay so what is a steady flow so suppose you have a you again observe a flow okay flow is taking place in an open channel all right and uh, you take any cross section any fixed location you take okay so let's take uh, assume this fixed location okay again one one fixed location draw the cross section if you 
measure the cross section suppose it is rectangular cross section rectangular channel you will have this flow depth okay this is your depth y okay it is your depth now at this location if you observe if you measure that the there is no change in depth along with time at a fixed location that is rate of change of depth with respect to time is zero at this particular section the depth is not changing with time or at this particular location if the discharge is not changing with time and all the properties are constant with respect to time then the flow is called as a steady flow okay so uh, now you can easily uh, understand or imagine that steady flow will take place when the discharge is constant so when you have constant discharge constant volume flow rate you have constant then what happens at a particular section if your discharge is constant your velocities depths velocity also remains constant and depth also depth also remains constant so this is called as a steady flow and your if your depth at a particular section varies with time then we have a unsteady flow so for unsteady flow this is for steady flows so what will happen for unsteady flow so i'll draw here so if you have this same channel okay so for unsteady flow what you will have to do you will have to change the discharge because if discharge is constant flow will be steady so change the discharge slowly if you change the discharge suppose at some particular time you have this depth at a particular section 1 1 okay you start changing the discharge here you have depth y1 suppose and you suppose increase the discharge you change it and after some time if this is the flow depth okay this is at t1 this is at t2 so this is y2 okay at the same cross section so if you have this cross section at some time you will have y1 and at some time you will have this y2 so what has happened when you change the discharge when q not constant is varying when q is varying del q by del t at a particular section okay at 1 1 then we have a unsteady flow so if q is varying automatically your depth will also vary at that section it will also be not equal to zero and similarly velocities will also be not equal to zero uh, rate of change of velocity with respect to time will not be equal to zero so uh, this is about the steadiness and unsteadiness of the flow depends upon the variation in discharge so <coughs> this is first classification now the next classification is uniformity and non uniformity uniform and non uniform flows okay so now uniformity and non uniformity is related to the rate of change of flow properties with respect to space okay that we have seen earlier also so now if you uh, take a look at a channel so you have a channel suppose and some flow is taking place okay and uh, this flow is taking place you just measure the depth of this flow at different cross sections just uh, take <coughs> just measure this depth okay so at three locations suppose you measure one at three different spatial coordinates 2 and 3 okay 3 so what do you observe if you observe that the depth is not changing with space so y is constant 
so depth is not changing with space at all the three locations depth is constant okay so at a particular point of time the flow properties are not changing with space all right so you we have rate of change of flow properties so del y by del s s represents the spatial coordinate here s represents x suppose this is flow direction okay so and this is suppose x so del y by del x will be zero at a constant time t equal to constant it what i want to say here is if you fix a particular point of time and at that point of time you observe the depth and if those depths are not changing with space then you have a uniform flow okay so other properties will also not change with respect to space they will also be zero okay so this is uniform flow now next is non uniformity non uniformity what will happen it's quite obvious that non uniformity deals with the variation in of properties with respect to the space so if you have if your properties kinematic dynamic or any flow properties they are changing with respect to space then you have a non uniform flow but in open channels we have three different categories of non uniform flow that we are going to discuss now okay so non uniform flow are of three types so that is important in pipe flow uh, there was no such classification but uh, in open channel flow we have three types so non uniform flow we will discuss these three types try to understand all the three types with by some examples all right so first is gradually varied flow it is also called as gvf second is rapidly varied flow it is called as rvf in short form and uh, third is spatially varied flow so this is svf okay so three type of non uniform flows we can have in an open channel so where we will, we will observe this three types of flows so let's say Mm, let's say you have a small weir or dam okay so you have a dam small dam or weir okay weirs are constructed to raise the water level suppose you want to raise the water level for irrigation purpose you will construct a small weir and water can be transported from that reservoir so suppose you construct a weir this is the l section of that weir and flow is taking place behind the weir so observe that flow what you will see that you will see that the flow depth behind the dam is varying slowly gradually what you will observe the flow depth here behind the dam suppose this is y1 and this is y2 suppose okay so the flow depth changes very gradually along the length along the flow the flow depth will vary very gradually such that the pressure is hydrostatic anywhere if you measure the pressure it will be hydrostatic okay pressure will be hydrostatic it will not be hydrodynamic so uh, you have gradually changing flow depth with hydrostatic pressure distribution then this type of flows are called the gvf so this is gvf gradually varied flow profile okay flow behind the back of a behind the uh, flow behind the weir okay flow upstream of weir this is flow upstream of a weir small weir so this is an example of gradually varied flow another example you observe a straight drop suppose you have a straight drop like this
so you have a straight drop like this and flow is taking place over this straight drop what you will observe that far from the straight drop you will have some depth flow depth y1 but as the flow falls from the straight drop water level is very gradually changing with respect to space so at here you will have some y2 so this is also an example of a gradually varied flow this will also be a gvf flow over a straight drop okay so these two are the examples of gvf so this is a gvf this is also a gvf now what is a rapidly varied flow from the name itself we can understand from the name itself we can make out that when the flow depth varies rapidly over a short length of time or uh, sorry short length of distance short length of channel then that flow is called as a rapidly varied flow for example if you have a let's say you have a uh, spillway okay spillway we'll see what is a spillway now so i'll draw an og spillway here So this is a con concrete structure basically, uh, this is called as a spillway. What is the use of spillway? When we construct dams, we have to bypass the extra water from the dam to the downstream. So the structures which are constructed to bypass the excess water from the dam, those are called as spillways. Now one such type of spillway is an OG spillway. So when flow takes place over an OG spillway, so this is the, at the back side of the spillway we have water stored. Okay. This is the back side of the spillway, upstream of the spillway and this is the downstream of the spillway. So water will flow from upstream to downstream over the spillway. Okay, so water is flowing like this but at the downstream of the spillway what is happening when water is flowing over the spillway water is having very high velocity. Okay, so kinetic energy of the water increases when it flows over the spillway and its velocity increases. Now this high velocity flow can cause erosion at the downstream okay velocity is high so the sediments on the downstream of the river they can get eroded and this this can be dangerous for the hydraulic structure that's why what we do we construct a structure which is called as energy dissipator which will dissipate this energy high velocity flow which will convert this high velocity flow into a low velocity flow okay so this particular structure at the downstream is called as a energy dissipator and at the downstream what happens this high velocity flow is converted into a is transformed into a low velocity flow okay so flow depth will increase and flow velocity will decrease at the upstream what was happening flow depth was very less but flow velocity was very high so in these structures what happens the flow suddenly changes its depth from lower depth to higher depth okay so this is an example of rapidly varied flow this particular phenomena is called as a uh, hydraulic jump generally okay so here you have y1 so this is y1 and this is y2 okay and this particular flow is called as a hydraulic jump Okay, this is an example of rapidly varied flow. When the flow depth changes abruptly, suddenly over a very short length of channel, then this is called as a rapidly varied flow. This is one example of rapidly varied flow. Okay, now what is a spatially varied flow? Spatially varied flow means when the discharge in the channel, if the discharge changes laterally along the length then it is called as a spatially varied flow. So for example, you have a channel like this. Okay. It is a straight channel. Now I am drawing the plan view. Okay. So flow is taking place like this. This is Q1. 
ओके बट इन दिस चैनल इफ यू हैव ए साइड चैनल सो यू हैव ए साइड चैनल लाइक दिस ओके सो वॉट विल हैपन एंड फ्लो इज टेकिंग प्लेस सपोज ओवर दिस साइड चैनल सो सम डिस्चार्ज इज फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम द मेन चैनल लेटरली देर इज लेटरल आउट फ्लो इन दिस केस सो हियर वॉट विल हैपन द डिस्चार्ज इज चेंजिंग अलॉन्ग द लेंथ ऑफ द चैनल इट विल बी क्यू वन माइनस डेल्टा क्यू ओके सो दिस टाइप ऑफ फ्लोज आर कॉल्ड एज ए स्पेशली वेरिड फ्लो सो इफ यू इफ यू ट्राई टू ड्रॉ दिस साइड व्यू देन यू इट विल लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके दिस इज योर फ्लो ओके एंड फ्लो डेथ विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके ओके सो इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम द साइड दिस इज अ साइड व्यू ऑफ द चैनल सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज ए दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ए स्पेशली वेरिड फ्लो सो three type of non uniform flows we are having one is gradually varied in which flow depth is changing very gradually very slowly the streamline curvature is almost parallel there is no uh, uh, what you can say very abundant curvature to the streamline streamlines are almost parallel just very slight change we have and pressure is hydrostatic then we have rapidly varied flow in which the flow depth is changing very abruptly Uh, rapidly over very short length of the channel like in uh, hydraulic jumps okay and third type we have a specially varied flow where flow discharge is varying laterally along the channel so three type of non uniformities can be present in an open channel flow all right so if you try to categorize all the three type of flows then we can <coughs> summarize the type of flows in a chart small chart so if you try to draw a chart of type of flows you will have flows okay if you try to draw so we will have steady flow flow can be steady and flows can be unsteady so if your discharge is constant you will have a steady flow discharge is varying you have a unsteady flow okay now when the flow is steady the flow can be uniform also flow can be non uniform also okay flow depth can be constant along with uh, along with space and flow depth can vary along with space however okay but however if the flow is unsteady the flow depth cannot be constant along the channel okay so for unsteady flow you will not get uniformity okay so steady flows can be uniform and non uniform steady flows can be uniform and non uniform okay but unsteady flows can only be non uniform okay unsteady flow cannot be uniform very difficult to achieve unsteadiness and uniformity at the same time it's quite difficult to achieve uh, practically okay so and non uniform flows we have seen already there are three types of non uniform flows one is gvf one is rvf and spf okay and for unsteady flows also either you will get a gvf rvf rapidly varied flow or a spatially varied flow okay so these are the different type of flows in an open channel okay now there are other classification of, of flows also like laminar and turbulent critical subcritical supercritical flows etc that we will see in the next lecture